Welcome back to Learn Java on Code Academy. We're in the conditionals and control flow section, switch statement. The conditional statements that we have covered so far require Boolean expressions to determine which code block to run. Java also provides a way to execute code blocks based on whether a block is equal to a specific value. For those specific cases, we can use the switch statement, which helps keep code organized and less wordy. The switch statement is used as follows. We have an integer restaurant rating assigned 3. Then we use our switch statement to take that value and depending on the case, use that value. If the case isn't specified, it will run a default case that we give it. So since here restaurant rating is 3, it should run at case 3, which would print this restaurant is fantastic. In the example above, we assign the int variable restaurant rating a value of 3. The code will print a message to console based on the value of restaurant rating. In this case, this restaurant is fantastic is printed to the console, which is case 3. The break statement will exit the switch statement after a condition is met. Without the break statement, Java will continue to check whether the value of restaurant rating matches any other cases. The default case is printed only if restaurant rating is not equal to an int with the value of 1, 2, or 3. Instructions set the code block under the default case to Messi's in position. So here we would just copy this, come over here to our default case, which is similar to our else. If no other case works, the default will print, which is Messi is in position. Right now, penalty t kick is x which will run the default because there is no case x so if we run this now we will see messy is in position as we see it so here it says look at the code in the code editor set the char variable penalty kick value to l r or c if we put l r or c it should actually work so here if i put r it should print messy shoots to the right and misses the goal if I go ahead and run that, we should get that result. So we see Messi shoots to the right and misses the goal. We did get R to print out. If we switch this to C, it should print out C. The break again allows us to stop the code once that case is met. So if we run that, we do get Messi shoots down the center, but the keeper blocks it, which is the C value. The important thing to take from switch statements is that they're just basically if else statements that just lets you I guess keep it cleaner and not so uh, confusing with a bunch of if else ifs else ifs in your code. So that was switch statements on learn Java on Code Academy. I'll see you guys on the next one.